going into college, I was undecided in what I wanted to do. Um, I spoke with a counselor that asked me what I enjoyed in school, and I told him I enjoyed psychology. So he signed me up for a lot of psychology classes, um, which led to the human service uh, fields. And um, then I, I continued to take classes in, in that and uh, graduated with a psychology degree. I got employed uh, in Wayne County with the Department of Social Services and, and began my career um, as a children's foster care worker um, in, uh, in social work. So then I uh, transferred to Oakland County through the years and, and changed jobs to adult services and worked in different adult services, which led me to my, my current job, Adult Protective Services, in Oakland County. So in my uh, 20 years with the state of Michigan, um, the job responsibilities have, have changed dramatically um, back to, to where you would have a um, clerical pool that would do typing and um, all of the computer work, all of the, the computer data entry um, to today where you have a, the, the computer on your desk where you're responsible um, for all of the, the typing of your cases and um, from basically when the case comes in till the time that the case is closed, it's your responsibility to, um, to do the investigation, to find resources for the person, to make sure that, that they're not being abused or neglected, um, to writing up the case, uh, getting it all packeted together and closing the case. So a typical day for me is to come in in the morning and um, do all my typing from the day before. There's, there's always a lot of notes to put in and um, update the computer system. So if anybody needs to read the case, that it's all available on the computer. So I usually spend a, a couple hours in the morning just doing that. And then um, from there, I have to make phone calls and uh, follow up on cases, look for resources for people. And then usually in the afternoon, then I, I'll go out in the field and, and visit people in their homes. Um, during that day, usually I'll have a new case, so that's what I'll go out and, and see um, what's going on with that case and, and uh, see if I can locate the people and, and find out what's happening. There are positives and negatives with, um, with this job. That Some of the positives are, are the reason that I got into this was to, to work with people and to help people and uh, get them to a better place in their lives. Um, and, but some of the, the negative parts of it is, is it can be a dangerous job that, that you're going out, you don't know what you're walking into and, um, and some, some pretty deplorable conditions. Um, also that um, the, the work volume is very heavy and um, you have little time to, to stop and, and think about uh, everything. So you're, you're rushed to, to come up with some solutions for people and that can be difficult to do at times. If I had to give advice to somebody that was looking to um, be in this field would be to, to say that make sure it's something that you really want to do. That uh, working with people in all aspects of life can be difficult at times and um, you really have to enjoy working with people and, and do it for that. It can be a thankless job that, that a lot of people um, don't, don't thank you for the work that you do uh, to help them. So um, you, you have to do it because it's something that, that you want to do. Um, also, it's important to, to have a lot of um, computer skills and, and technology because that's becoming a, a bigger and bigger part of the job um, where we're working out in the field and having cell phones and you know, laptop computers and less and less in the office. So you have to be um, very organized and self-sufficient and uh, be able to use the technology efficiently. Thank you.